ninth chapter of St. Mark. shouldn't take too long for me to say what I got to say to you. And he said, first verse, and he said to them, truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God has come with power. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say. They were so frightened. Then a cloud appeared and covered them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. I want to share with you just for a few minutes we have here to hang out uh, from the subject of empowered to serve. Empowered to serve. We've had a mighty, mighty good time up in here today, haven't we? Would y'all not agree? Give yourself a hand. Oh, I, I, I feel the anointing in this place. I, I, I feel better for having come. Feel spiritually uplifted. Feel better. Then I came. I feel it's it's been a been a great atmosphere here. But I just come by to tell you, it ain't very much if it does not lead us to serve. We are empowered to serve. We, we come here and have this mountaintop experience to be empowered to serve. That's why I wanted all those cards and, and, and accolades to be read. Somebody said, don't take all of you don't need, we don't need read. Yes, we do. The church need to know that we are more than here. That, that, that there's something behind the preaching and the singing. And if it's nothing that's behind the preaching and singing, we wasting our time. We're here to be empowered. To serve. This, this is how, how, how a mount of transfiguration. Well, we, 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 we are intentional about going up and being elevated 
You can't come and worship God and, and stay down. You go up to be empowered. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus took uh, three of his leaders up to the mountain of transfiguration uh, because he, he understood as he was getting ready uh, to leave this earth physically that, that if they were to really impact and make a difference in the world uh, that he leave behind with them, they must be what? Empowered, in, em, empowered, empowered. Uh, we, 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 we had yesterday. Yesterday they had me in the new members class teaching what it means to be a Christian. And my brothers and sisters, uh, I don't need a script for that. When the Lord saved my soul a long time ago, God. God put an impression on my heart to let me know, Simmons, I didn't just save you to go holler and shout at folk and sit in somebody's church, but I saved you so you can be a blessing to somebody else. You've been just saved for yourself. That's a sorry saving. We've been blessed to be a blessing. You, if you, if you just got a theology about you and God, it's mighty sorry. And unfortunately, sometimes we carry a theology that's just about me and God. We all just make it a little personal thing, me and God. And no one else feels the effect of your relationship with God. You got a thing going on with God and nobody else can't feel it is mighty sorry. Just like saying you with somebody and you all in love and you don't ever feel nothing for them. Don't ever show nothing for them. You, I ain't got much for y'all who love the Lord and can't love me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus understood the importance of, of taking his three up, Peter, James, and John. You know, you know that's significant now. I know we get caught up in numbers, Brother Morrison. We look around and we try to see who all here. But can I, can I, can I just really get, just come on down somebody's street right now? It ain't all about the numbers. Some of us, it, it, it comes down to a few of us that, that, that are elevated uh, so, so that we can uh, be empowered to spread, oh, spread the good news. It doesn't take everybody up there, but those who go up there need to take it back out and bring it back down. Off the mouth. You, 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 you here? Don't worry about who ain't here. But you, you are here. You are here to be empowered to take it back out there. If, if, if all you got when you leave here is we had a good time, you don't have much. But you ought to be empowered to serve Jesus. Jesus had, he took them up, he, he elevated them. And my brothers and sisters, you know anytime you go up, uh, not physically, not only physically do you, you you're elevated, but you, you have to be elevated in your mind. How many know that you have to be elevated in your mind? That's, that, 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 that's, that's what Romans is talking about, uh, that, that, that we, we must be transformed by the renewing of our mind, we, we, we have to be elevated in our mind. And, and not only do we want we to be elevated in our mind, we need to be elevated in our spirit. And so here they are. And so what Jesus' first thing that we learn, our brother Bess, 
and being empowered to serve because that's the whole goal of going up is to be empowered to serve. First thing we understand we need to be in solitude. Anybody know that your power sure enough come from being in solitude? Y'all ain't feeling me yet. I know I can tell about your solitude in your presence. You, 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 you see, some of us are able to show enough praise the Lord in here because we don't praise them somewhere else. It, we, 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 we didn't just save our praise for in this building. We are, we are in power. That's why Jesus took them, what the Bible say, alone. It's, it's, we, we can't give God much if, if we're not willing to spend some alone time with God. See, I know, you know, y'all remember when we did the sermon about Nat Theology? Y'all, y'all remember that? Y'all might need to tell your neighbor, your pastor preached about that. Let me, like, I'm, I'm going I'm to hope y'all out. You see, Sister Franklin, I need you to stay with me now. Uh, you see, folk, folk will really bother you. Everything get on your nerves. See, see, Milwaukee, on Wisconsin, I'm helping you. You don't know much about gnats. You've been in Georgia long enough. Y'all don't know something about gnats. Gnats are, I'm an expert on gnats, uh, Sister Mitchell. I'm from South Georgia, Tifton, Georgia. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Reverend Shirley Dane from Guidance, she know about gnats. They worse in Southeast. Gnats. <laughs> They really, Rev, uh, Ron Goodson, they really are harmless. Y'all know? They really are. But sometimes we make gnats, brother, either bigger than they should be. They, gnats, you know what they, they don't even bite. You can't hardly see them. You, you can sometimes hear them. They make a little noise. And, yeah. <laughs> but any, anybody, any good person from South Georgia tell you, we don't let that stop us from doing nothing. Uh-huh. Tell somebody he going so well. <laughs> Nat's not meant, Brother Hunt, to stop you. Nats just can aggravate you. It does not take an axe or a shotgun for. You just got to know how. Sometimes. Can I, can I, can I, can I be sure enough real about the, the, how powerless a gnat is? You can even eat them and don't know it. And the, and the truth of the matter, we don't eat a whole heap of nuts. <laughs> and, they, and, they, and they haven't done anything to us. Yes, sir. And, and that's why you have to be empowered to serve. Because when you are not empowered to serve, you let nuts get too much on your nerves. Everything ain't big as you make it. But when you when you spend some time with God, you ain't going to let nuts. You ain't going to let nuts stop you. Just fan them off. 
Keep on eating. But I know them folk who don't spend no time with the Lord. I, I figure, I say, oh, Lord, they don't know how to handle gnats. I know they, they sure ain't spent no time with the Lord. But that's what most, most of our issues are no more than. And when we spend time with the Lord, we understand how we can evaluate stuff better. We can assess it better. We understand every, it ain't always the end of the world. And, so, and I tell you, the survival of being a half-decent pastor is, is to know when it's a gnat. When, 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 when pastor start pulling his pistol, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all know that pastor ain't spending enough time in solitude. Right. Y'all don't hear me in here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hope you out. <laughs> he, they, 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 Jesus took him up. And, and to solitude uh, because he understand the power of, of being empowered takes you have to sometimes steal away and, and you need some alone time. You can be much better when you get to the office if you spend some alone time. You can, you can be much better than you are sometimes when you go home if you spend some alone time. We're empowered in solitude, but 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 he he he, he has something else. I think I think it's very important. And, yeah, that 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 in, to empower us. Do you see right here up in this mountain? You you got you have solitude, but 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 we also em, em, empowered by our story. Do you, yeah, <laughs> my my brothers and sisters. See some of us some of us scared of that. But 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 do you do you see what takes place? Up here on the mountaintop, and, and it and it and it stems from being alone. You don't you don't get to have experiences like this if you don't if you're not willing to be alone with the Lord at times. And and when you get alone with the Lord and spend some solitude time with Him, you'll find out that 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 you can be transformed and transfigured, and you can you can begin. Even in, in whatever situation and trial or tribulation you may be going through. But if you spend that time with him, you can be informed by your story that you ain't in it by yourself. But that there's somebody who came before you who was able to overcome those trials and tribulations. This ain't the first time you've been to this rodeo. When you're alone, you, 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 can, you, 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 can, you can know your story better. But if you always got some stuff in your head, if you always got the TV on, the radio on, the social media on, you don't know, you get confused about your story. You start allowing other folks to tell your story. But baby, you got to get by yourself and, and so you can hear your own story. Your story, your story is connected with your family. Whatever happened, you've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. And some of y'all got some good family stories. You need to know that. If you had two good mamas and daddy didn't fight and cuss each other out all the time, that's a good thing. <laughs> but, but if your mom and daddy did that, and some of them got drunker than Cooter Brown. You got a story too, cause look at you with your good looking, pretty, handsome self. Look what God done for you. Be truthful to your story. Be truthful to your story. Yes, sir. 
if you like Dr. Jasmine, your folk were, you know, up, you know, Dr. Jasmine, both of her parents finished college. Amen, somebody. Amen. That, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't everybody's story, especially her age. And that didn't mean you old now, Dr. Jasmine. <laughs> but, but the issue, the issue is that whatever your story is, you have to be true to it. You have to tell the truth. Because if you're not honest about it, you can't receive the healing that you need. That's why, that's why, that's why it will be sponsoring this, this um, your mind matters. And because we understand uh, how, how vitally important it is to make sure you're mentally healthy. Amen, somebody. And, but, but a lot of times, we can't become mentally healthy because we're not willing to tell the truth. I, I, I feel sorry for people who feel like they have to lie about their story. I feel sorry for folks who grew up in the same crazy dysfunctional home. And, 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 and one side of the family can tell the truth about it. And the other one act like they didn't live with the same person. <laughs> Help me in here. Yes. When you're alone, oh, your story, you can see your story clear. A lot of you can't tell your story because you keep so much noise around you because you don't want to deal with your, your story. Jesus brought brought them up to let them know that y'all connected to something more than what you see. You're connected to somebody who, who's gone on now. You, you, you connected to Elijah. You connected to Moses. You connected to something much greater than you are. You, 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 you're the, the same God that, that elevated Moses. The same God that elevated Elijah. The same God that elevated your slave mama and daddy. The same God. To allow y'all to build schools, uh, universities, with pennies. That's the same God. It connect we when we we to be empowered to serve we got to spend some time alone with the Lord but we also have to be connected to our story can I can I can I can I just tell you further what happens as you are connected to your story look what happens the first inclination of Peter as in this transfiguration, in this revealing of his connection with the story, look what he, he wants to do. And I want you to pay close attention to this because sometimes we ignore this in the text. He wants to be a Shelters, tents. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come down your street, uh, uh, Reverend Doctor. A lot of times, my brothers and sisters, I want I want you to. I mean, I want you to show enough. Stay with me. If you were nodding before, I want you to wake up now. <laughs> What I, didn't I say something about being empowered to serve? Yes. A lot of times, Sister Portia, we are afraid of serving. We don't want to come off this mountain. Y'all ain't going to pay me. Listen, I love good church, whatever that looks like. I mean, kind of, I think it looked like what we're doing today. Amen. But be careful. Help me in here. Sister Deborah, you with me? 
We have to be careful about always wanting to stay in the building. Brother Ukachuka, stay with me. Are you with me? We have to be careful about always wanting to keep everything in here. Oh, help me in here. That's, that's what, that's what Peter wanted. Did you, did you see? I hope some of us saw ourselves. Let's, let, let's just keep it in here. And, 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 and streamers, come on. I have somebody, you can come check me on this if you want to. I love new buildings. I, I love a good building project. I want one myself. But brothers and sisters, be careful. We got a lot of church buildings around here. Mega church buildings. But are we really being empowered to serve? Or, Sister Jean, are we just up here having a good time? Do you, did you notice, Sister Lisa, what the text said? That when he asked to build the tents or the shelter, some translation call it tents, do you notice that it said, it, because they were so afraid. And sometimes, AME Church, I hope I have a job when I finish uh, Reverend Corbin, <laughs> but sometimes you have to be prophetic. Amen. That's a part. I, I'm not just a priest. I'm a prophet too. <laughs> but maybe we don't need another conference. Oh Lord, have mercy. I, I know I ain't gonna have a job when I leave here. But have you ever noticed? We we and nobody stay in a church more than us. I mean, we got one conference after another. And I hear one of the prophets say, uh, Brother Sam Wilson, and we still ain't saved. That's right. That's right. It's harvest time, and we still ain't saved. Right. We can't keep, keep trying to. Stay inside, stay up here on the mountain. It's too much going on. We, 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 we have mountaintop experience to be able to be empowered to come down and serve. To be empowered, to be empowered in our solitude, but to be empowered also by our stories. More importantly, be empowered by the Son of God who kept connect our story, who connect our past, who connect our present, who connect our future. That's Jesus the Christ. That's what empowers us. My brothers and sisters, if you are here, if you are here, I want you, those of you who can, I want you to stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. I want to give someone an opportunity who never given their life to Christ and understand the importance of giving life to Christ is not only for your salvation and your deliverance but you have been saved to help somebody else. If your salvation don't show up on help anytime, I ain't judging you. But the Bible say faith without 
works is dead. If you're here today, I want, you to, I want to give you an opportunity to come and give your life to Christ. The one that ultimately connect us. He connect us in our solitude and he connect us with our stories. Both the past, the present, and the future. That's Jesus the Christ. Anybody here want to give your life over to him? That you can show enough, be empowered. Not only for yourself, but for others around you. How many want to make a difference in the world you live in? Amen. If you're here today, if you're here today, won't you come now? Won't you come? Don't play with it. If you're near someone who you know want to come, will you take their hand and bring them? Walk with them? If, if you're that person I'm talking to, won't you take somebody and ask them if they'll walk with you down here to give your life over to Jesus right now. I don't care how old or young you are. It doesn't matter. Are you here? Are you here? Anyone? You don't have to look to anybody else about your salvation. You know whether or not you're saved. If you are unsure, still come up here. And we can make sure that you leave here saved today. Empowered to serve. Anyone here saved? You, you've already given your life to Christ. You say, Reverend, I... I resonate with that empowered to serve peace. In fact, I've been kind of afraid of the institution of church because we don't talk enough about serving. But I wouldn't mind being a part of a church that really believe that. I don't mind being a part of a church that I can encourage to make sure that that's what they're about. Anybody here want to be a part of Antioch, AME Church? Join us in service. You're already saved, but you understand the, the importance of service. Well, you're not coming this Sunday, maybe next Sunday. Church anniversary. Right where you are, touch and agree, please. Right where you are, touching and agreeing. Touching and agreeing. Touching and agreeing. Touching and agreeing. Gracious God, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for your, your Holy Spirit and all the many ways you have revealed yourself. You have revealed yourself in so many ways, oh God. You have revealed yourself in the, in the praise and worship. You revealed yourself in the fellowship. You revealed yourself in the financial giving. You revealed yourself, oh God, with the giving of flowers and, and encouraging others. You have revealed yourself so many ways. Thank you, God. And help us, God. To be empowered by all the many ways you reveal yourself to us. Help us, God, to be a difference maker, to make a difference, to be the salt of the earth, the light of the world, to be all that you have called us to be, to serve this present age, our, our calling to fulfill. To serve, to serve, to serve, to serve. Yes, Lord. Lord, now we ask that you just touch each person here that brings any type of illness, health issues, relational issues, financial issues, employment issues, any type of issues that, that would hinder them. 
from connecting with you, oh God. Have your way right now in the name of Jesus. Help us, God, to be better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. What is it?